major problem uh, that Creation Club is causing uh, on consoles, but this would also apply to PCs as well, although there is a PC user workaround that's a lot easier than what I've had to go through. Uh, let's take a quick look here as I'm talking at the moment and describing to you what my problem was. Uh, you may have watched my earlier rant uh, at Bethesda Games that was in relation to this. And that was, uh, I believe, about uh, talking about the Creation Club content not working with the mods. Well, this is now the second issue. And I think actually this might be the true problem. The true problem is that, well, as you can see, my internet isn't the greatest. It's taking a while to load this. But uh, the true problem here is there are options to download, which as you can see, I have not, I'm not downloading anything at the moment. I have purchased, in my purchase section, you'll see here, I've purchased basically or almost everything that they've put out. And I'm just not going to sit here and wait for all these graphics to download. And I'm just going to get into uh, watching a little more gameplay as I talk because it's going to be a little bit more interesting. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get into my game and then I'll finish telling you what, made, what the major problem is and how Bethesda can solve this for everybody. And I really don't think it's too much to ask. It's not, it's just a little admission and for them to fix this and a little bit of code, probably not a significant amount of code really. And they can get this all taken care of and fixed up nice and neat for us. So nobody else has to suffer through what I've had to suffer through. So let me go ahead and load my game. I was able to recover my most played character. Uh, as you can see, she's got 13 days on her. Although I actually, I think I had more, but I had to, I tried other prop. When I started having these saving issues, I had to go back and try some older saves and just went through a nightmare, basically. Uh, I'll tell you pretty much what happened here is, um, uh, basically, the Creation Club is the some of the files in the Creation Club are causing either like load errors or they're causing some sort of errors to do with the save file that is causing the save files to no longer work. They only partially save. You get an error message up that says, "Please free up." 0.0 kilobytes more of data from either your video capture or applications off of uh, the drive that it's running the game from. Okay, I've done that. I freed up more than zero. And sometimes I could get it to work for a little bit longer. I was able to get fully functional saves. But ultimately, it eventually goes back to the point where the closest I can get to a functional save is an exit save. All right, uh, so I was able to recover from an exit save with my most played character and then I made this new save on the system. And we get the new power, new armor. I went through all through Nuka World. I've done almost everything in that. I think all I have left to do is the park medallions. And I did the, uh, the ending where I did basically the Commonwealth ending and I killed all the raiders. All right, I just want to show you, let me get you, let's get up here to uh, where I used to have a lot of Creation Club content installed on this game. It's kind of amusing now. 
this empty plot of land and this rather undressed person here is just hanging out. This used to be my salesman of my stolen uh, Spucky Joe's coffee shop. This used to be the coffee shop. Uh, and I think it's funny that there's still a few remnants of it around. Like the clock is still here. Some of my ceiling lights. A few things that basically aren't part of the Creation Club content that I had downloaded that I used to create this. And I really liked that coffee shop. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, it was fun. It lit up. Uh, it gave some color to uh, the sanctuary here. Drawing people in. Drawing in new uh, settlers and whatnot, I think. You know, or realistically it would. Well, that's what I'm looking at now. And I'll tell you what. The fear is I'm kind of afraid of downloading Creation Club content anymore. Uh, the problem being is what I said, it's conflicting, it's causing load errors, or it's causing, it's causing files to be corrupted, save files. It's causing me to not be able to do quick saves, not to be able to do regular saves. The only save that I was able to get to work was an exit save. Uh, and, you know, this is just not acceptable. Alright, I'll, I'll tell you how I was able to fix it, and this is, this is why it's so unacceptable is after going through forums, going through, uh, you know, going through a Google search, coming upon some forums, some other people that have, uh, have felt my pain, I found they had a very concise step-by-step -step process, process of elimination, uh, way to go about uh, correcting this problem on a PS4. It's not pretty. You have to basically, what, you, what I had to do is I had to resign myself to the fact that I'd have to completely delete my copy of the game off the hard drive. I had to move all of my saved games onto a USB thumb drive. I even like went so far as I disabled and deleted all of my cloud saves because I didn't want any of those to accidentally get loaded up and like carry the corruption over. Uh, you know, it was just ridiculous. And then I had to re-download the game, re-download all the DLC. They recommended doing it in the order that it came out, so I did that. And then I was able to get a new character going. But it wasn't until I went to that extreme, and I tried a lot of other things before then, to get this to work. And it wasn't working. I tried just deleting the DLC, re-downloading re that. For some, actually for a little bit of time, I was able to get that to work. I deleted Far Harbor since I had already basically completed everything in there, and I was working on Nuka World, so I just kept Nuka World, took out Far Harbor, and then I could save again normally for a little while. But then the problem, it came, kept coming back, and I'm hoping it doesn't come back anymore. Uh, you know, so this is what I've finally come to is I had to, you know, delete everything, reinstall everything, and the big problem here is, you know, well, front one, you know, I know it's, it's my own doing here, supporting the game, but, you know, I really love the Fallout games, Bethesda, I really do. Uh, my favorite PC role-playing game or series used to always be the Ultima series. That was my favorite series, but, and I would say that my second most favorite series was the Fallout series, but with this these problems now my current favorite is the fallout series you're just you're releasing stuff with too many bugs okay this is not getting quality controlled it's not getting play tested enough um, and this can easily be fixed though all right I have a solution now hear me out okay Pete Hines Todd Howard anybody else in Bethesda listen Please listen to this part. I'm also going to be tweeting uh, a briefer version of this out onto Twitter. And I'll, I'll tag you in there. Hopefully this gets to you. And hopefully we can get this fixed. I, I don't think it's much to ask, okay? First off, you need to admit that basically Creation Club 
are approved mods. They are mods. Quit trying to say they're not mods. Look, if it looks like a mod, it acts like a mod, it's a mod, all right? You know that. You know it's a mod. It's just an approved mod that you're charging money for, all right? Why doesn't Creation Club content have the option to either delete it from the menus of the game or disable it? Like, say I want to start a new character, but I don't want the Doom power, the Doom armor going into my backpack, or I just really hate pipe rifle, pipe shotguns. I don't want a pipe shotgun being deposited into my character. Okay? I don't want the temptation of, use, of starting a new survival character and have the temptation of using uh, Doom Armor on a survival character. I should be able to select which of the Creation Club items that I want to activate for a new character, for example. You know, just give us the option, the same options that you have in the mod menus. Okay, you can disable all mods, you can delete all mods. You can disable individual mods. You should have those same options in the Creation Club menus. So then if some Creation Club content comes out and I, somebody hap, like myself happily goes ahead, buys it and downloads it and is looking forward to playing around with it in their game on their favorite character, and then the next thing they know, they go to save their game. They got stuff to do in the real world. They got to quit playing. They got to save. And they get the save error. You need to free up 0.0, .0 kilobytes of data. You can't, you're, you can't save. You know, that's very discouraging. And now, if I was able to just go back and undo the last thing that I did to my game, like maybe I shouldn't have installed that Captain Cosmos armor quest and mod. Maybe that's what broke my save file. Maybe it needs to be patched. You know, I'm, you know, it can, and then it will work and it will allow save files to, to save properly. I should be able to do that. That is not that hard. I really don't feel so. I've, I did a little bit of programming myself. I'm not current, but back in the day I did a little bit of programming. And I know that you could probably largely copy and paste the code that's from the mod section and copy and paste it into the uh, creation club section. I mean, I know that it's more involved than that, but I mean, the basics of it shouldn't be that much different. Um, and you could fix this for everybody and cause a lot of other people to not have so much misery. All right. Well, I guess that's the end of my, my rant here about Creation Club. I'll just tell people, I have to tell you, you better be careful with it. I think what my new policy is going to be is I'm not going to download, I'm not going to download the latest Creation Club downloads until probably the next batch of them come out. I'll always stay a batch behind because I'm going to assume, hopefully correctly, that by the time that next batch comes out, you'll have patched the errors out of the previous creation club. All right, that's all for now. I just uh, I wish everybody to uh, live long. Oh. Live long and game on.